Ordinary Differential Equation, Wikipedia Article Audio In mathematics, an ordinary differential equation is a differential equation containing one or more functions of one independent variable and its derivatives. The term ordinary is used in contrast with the term partial differential equation which may be with respect to more than one independent variable. Background Definitions General Definition System of Oats Solutions Theories Singular Solutions Reduction to Quadratures Fusion Theory Lies Theory Sturma Uroliouville Theory Existence and Uniqueness of Solutions Local Existence and Uniqueness Theorem Simplified Global Uniqueness and Maximum Domain of Solution Reduction of Order Reduction to a First Order System Summary of Exact Solutions Software for Oat Solving Notes Bibliography a linear differential equation is a differential equation that is defined by a linear polynomial in the unknown function and its derivatives, that is an equation of the form where a 0 x comma a n x and b x are arbitrary differentiable functions that do not need to be linear, and y a euro superscript 2, a euro, y, n, are the successive derivatives of the unknown function y of the variable x. Among ordinary differential equations, linear differential equations play a prominent role for several reasons. Most elementary and special functions that are encountered in physics and applied mathematics are solutions of linear differential equations. When physical phenomena are modeled with nonlinear equations, they are generally approximated by linear differential equations for an easier solution. The few nonlinear odes that can be solved explicitly are generally solved by transforming the equation into an equivalent linear ode. Some odes may be solved explicitly in terms of known functions and integrals. When it is not possible, one may often use the equation for computing the Taylor series of the solutions. For applied problems, one generally uses numerical methods for ordinary differential equations for getting an approximation of the desired solution. Ordinary differential equations arise in many contexts of mathematics and science. Mathematical descriptions of change use differentials and derivatives. Various differentials, derivatives, and functions become related to each other via equations, and thus a differential equation is a result that describes dynamically changing phenomena, evolution, and variation. Often, quantities are defined as the rate of change of other quantities, or gradients of quantities, which is how they enter differential equations. Specific mathematical fields include geometry and analytical mechanics. Scientific fields include much of physics and astronomy, meteorology, chemistry, biology, ecology, and population modeling, economics. Many mathematicians have studied differential equations and contributed to the field, including Newton, Leibniz, the Bernoulli family, Riccati, Clairaut, D'Alembert, and Euler. A simple example is Newton's second law of motion a euro the relationship between the displacement x and the time t of an object under the force f, is given by the differential equation, which constrains the motion of a particle of constant mass m. In general, f is a function of the position x of the particle at time t. The unknown function x appears on both sides of the differential equation, and is indicated in the notation f. 
In what follows, let y be a dependent variable and x an independent variable, and y equals f is an unknown function of x. The notation for differentiation varies depending upon the author and upon which notation is most useful for the task at hand. In this context, the Leibniz's notation is more useful for differentiation and integration, whereas Lagrange's notation is more useful for representing derivatives of any order compactly, and Newton's notation, y, e trademark, y, a, y is often used in physics for representing derivatives of low order with respect to time. Given f, a function of x, y, and derivatives of y. Then an equation of the form is called an explicit ordinary differential equation of order n. More generally, an implicit ordinary differential equation of order n takes the form. There are further classifications. The general solution to a linear equation can be written as y equals yc plus yp. A number of coupled differential equations form a system of equations. If y is a vector whose elements are functions, y equals, y2, ym, and f is a vector valued function of y and its derivatives, then is an explicit system of ordinary differential equations of order n and dimension m. In column vector form, these are not necessarily linear. The implicit analog is where 0 equals is the 0 vector. In matrix form, for a system of the form, f, x, y, y, a euro superscript 2, equals 0 backslash left equals some sources also require that the jacobian matrix a f x u v a v be non-singular in order to call this an implicit ode an implicit ode system satisfying this jacobian non-singularity condition can be transformed into an explicit ode system in the same sources Implicit ODE systems with a singular Jacobian are termed differential algebraic equations. This distinction is not merely one of terminology, DAEs have fundamentally different characteristics and are generally more involved to solve than ODE systems. Presumably for additional derivatives, the Hessian matrix and so forth are also assumed non-singular according to this scheme. Although note that any ode of order greater than 1 can be rewritten as system of odes of first order, which makes the Jacobian singularity criterion sufficient for this taxonomy to be comprehensive at all orders. Given a differential equation, a function u, i a with circumflex r a r is called a solution or integral curve for f, if u is n times differentiable on i, and Given two solutions U, J A with circumflex R A R and V, I A with circumflex R A R, U is called an extension of V if I A with circumflex J and A solution that has no extension is called a maximal solution. A solution defined on all of R is called a global solution. A general solution of an nth order equation is a solution containing an arbitrary independent constants of integration. A particular solution is derived from the general solution by setting the constants to particular values, often chosen to fulfill set initial conditions or boundary conditions. A singular solution is a solution that cannot be obtained by assigning definite values to the arbitrary constants in the general solution. The theory of singular solutions of ordinary and partial differential equations was a subject of research from the time of Leibniz, but only since the middle of the 19th century did it receive special attention. A valuable but little known work on the subject is that of Houtain. Darbu was a leader in the theory, 
and in the geometric interpretation of these solutions he opened a field worked by various writers, notable ones being Cassorati and Cayley. To the latter is due the theory of singular solutions of differential equations of the first order as accepted circa 1900. The primitive attempt in dealing with differential equations had in view a reduction to quadratures. As it had been the hope of 18th century algebraists to find a method for solving the general equation of the nth degree, so it was the hope of analysts to find a general method for integrating any differential equation. Gauss showed, however, that the differential equation meets its limitations very soon unless complex numbers are introduced. Hence, analysts began to substitute the study of functions, thus opening a new and fertile field. Cauchy was the first to appreciate the importance of this view. Thereafter, the real question was to be not whether a solution is possible by means of known functions or their integrals but whether a given differential equation suffices for the definition of a function of the independent variable or variables, and, if so, what are the characteristic properties of this function. Two memoirs by Fuchs, inspired a novel approach subsequently elaborated by Thomas Copyright and Frobenius. Collet was a prominent contributor beginning in 1869, although his method for integrating a nonlinear system was communicated to Bertrand in 1868. Klebsch attacked the theory along lines parallel to those followed in his theory of abelian integrals. As the latter can be classified according to the properties of the fundamental curve that remains unchanged under a rational transformation, so Klebsch proposed to classify the transcendent functions defined by the differential equations according to the invariant properties of the corresponding surfaces f equals zero under rational one-to-one -one transformations. From 1870, Sophus Lies' work put the theory of differential equations on a more satisfactory foundation. He showed that the integration theories of the older mathematicians can, by the introduction of what are now called Lie groups, be referred to a common source, and that ordinary differential equations that admit the same infinitesimal transformations present comparable difficulties of integration. He also emphasized the subject of transformations of contact. Explosion in finite time, limbs up, x, a, x, a plus or minus, a euro, y, x, a euro, a, a, backslash y backslash backslash right arrow backslash infty, leaves domain of definition, lim, x, a, x, a plus or minus, y, x, a, a, i copyright, a, y backslash backslash in backslash partial, is always an interval, may be smaller than a, may depend on the specific choice of. Lie's group theory of differential equations has been certified, namely, that it unifies the many ad hoc methods known for solving differential equations, and that it provides powerful new ways to find solutions. The theory has applications to both ordinary and partial differential equations. A general approach to solve day uses the symmetry property of differential equations, the continuous infinitesimal transformations of solutions to solutions. Continuous group theory, Lie algebras, and differential geometry are used to understand the structure of linear and nonlinear differential equations for generating integrable equations, to find its lax pairs, recursion operators, Bialun transform, and finally finding exact analytic solutions to the D. Symmetry methods have been recognized to study differential equations arising in mathematics, physics, engineering, and many other disciplines. 
Sturma Uroliouville theory is a theory of a special type of second order linear ordinary differential equations. Their solutions are based on eigenvalues and corresponding eigenfunctions of linear operators defined in terms of second order homogeneous linear equations. The problems are identified as Sturm Liouville problems and are named after JCF. Sturm and J. Liouville who studied such problems in the mid-1800s. The interesting fact about regular SLPs is that they have an infinite number of eigenvalues, and the corresponding eigenfunctions form a complete, orthogonal set, which makes orthogonal expansions possible. This is a key idea in applied mathematics, physics, and engineering. SLPs are also useful in the analysis of certain partial differential equations. There are several theorems that establish existence and uniqueness of solutions to initial value problems involving odes both locally and globally. The two main theorems are which are both local results. Note that uniqueness theorems like the Lipschitz one above do not apply to day systems which may have multiple solutions stemming from their algebraic part alone. The theorem can be stated simply as follows. For the equation and initial value problem, if f and a f slash a y are continuous in a closed rectangle, in the x y plane, where a and b are real and a denotes the Cartesian product, square brackets denote closed intervals, then there is an interval. For some HAA where the solution to the above equation and initial value problem can be found. That is, there is a solution and it is unique. Since there is no restriction on F to be linear, this applies to nonlinear equations that take the form F, and it can also be applied to systems of equations. When the hypotheses of the picard euro lindela f theorem are satisfied, then local existence and uniqueness can be extended to a global result. More precisely, for each initial condition there exists a unique maximum open interval, such that any solution that satisfies this initial condition is a restriction of the solution that satisfies this initial condition with domain, i. M, A, X. In the case that, X, A plus or minus, A, A plus or minus, A, backslash N right arrow backslash PM backslash inf D, there are exactly two possibilities. Where I copyright is the open set in which F is defined, and, A, I copyright, A, is its boundary. Note that the maximum domain of the solution. This means that f equals y2, which is c1 and therefore locally Lipschitz continuous, satisfying the picard euro lindela f theorem. Even in such a simple setting, the maximum domain of solution cannot be all a, since the solution is which has maximum domain. This shows clearly that the maximum interval may depend on the initial conditions. The domain of Y could be taken as being, R, A, X, 0, plus, 1 slash, Y, 0, backslash small set minus, but this would lead to a domain that is not an interval, so that the side opposite to the initial condition would be disconnected from the initial condition, and therefore not uniquely determined by it. The maximum domain is not A because which is one of the two possible cases according to the above theorem. Differential equations can usually be solved more easily if the order of the equation can be reduced. Any explicit differential equation of order N can be written as a system of n first order differential equations by defining a new family of unknown functions. For i equals 1, 2, n. 
the n-dimensional system of first-order coupled differential equations is then more compactly in vector notation where some differential equations have solutions that can be written in an exact and closed form. Several important classes are given here. In the table below, P, Q, P, Q, and M, N are any integrable functions of X, Y, and B and C are real given constants, and C1, C2, are arbitrary constants. The differential equations are in their equivalent and alternative forms that lead to the solution through integration. In the integral solutions, i and i are dummy variables of integration, and the notation axf de just means to integrate f with respect to i, then after the integration substitute i equals x, without adding constants. p, 1, x, q, 1, y, plus p, 2, x, q, 2, y, d, y, d, x, equals, 0 p, 1, x, q, 1, y, d, x, plus p, 2, x, q, 2, y, d, y, equals, 0 pq plus pq backslash comma and equals 0 backslash backslash pq backslash dx plus pq backslash dy and equals 0 backslash end d y d x equals f x d y equals f x d x and equals f backslash backslash dy and equals f backslash dx backslash end d y d x equals f y d y equals f y d x and equals f backslash backslash dy and equals f backslash dx backslash end p y d y d x plus q x equals 0 p y d y plus q x d x equals 0 p plus q and equals 0 backslash backslash p backslash d y plus q backslash d x and equals 0 backslash end d y d x equals f y x equals f backslash left backslash comma backslash y m x y plus x n x y d y d x equals zero y m x y d x plus x n x y d y equals 0 em plus x n backslash comma and equals 0 backslash backslash em backslash dx plus x n backslash d y and equals 0 backslash end ln a c x equals a x y n i D I I N I A M I backslash comma backslash If N equals M, the solution is X Y equals C M X Y D Y D X plus N X Y equals zero M X Y D, Y, plus, N, X, Y, D, X, equals, 0, M plus N and equals 0 backslash backslash M backslash D, Y plus N backslash D, X and equals 0 backslash end. Where, A, M, A, X, 
equals a n a y equals backslash comma backslash where y and x are functions from the integrals rather than constant values which are set to make the final function f satisfy the initial equation m x y d y d x plus n x y equals 0 m x y d y plus n x y d x equals 0 m plus n and equals 0 backslash backslash m backslash dy plus n backslash dx and equals 0 backslash end where a m a x a per thousand a n a y backslash nick backslash comma backslash a i one fourth m a x equals a i one fourth n a y equals backslash comma backslash f x y equals a y i one fourth x i m x i d i plus a x i one fourth i y n i y d i plus y y plus x x equals c f equals end backslash int backslash mu m backslash d backslash lambda plus backslash int backslash mu n backslash d backslash lambda backslash backslash and plus y plus x equals c backslash end d 2 y d x 2 equals f y y equals f backslash comma backslash d y d x plus p x y equals q x plus pi equals q backslash comma backslash d 2 y d x 2 plus b d y d x plus c y equals r x y plus b plus psi equals r backslash comma backslash particular integral y p in general the method of variation of parameters though for very simple r inspection may work if b two four c then y c equals c one e a b plus b two a four c x two plus c two e a b plus b two a four c x two equals c e plus c e backslash comma backslash if b two equals four c then if b two four c then a j equals zero n b j d j y d x j equals r x b y equals r backslash comma backslash particular integral y p in general the method of variation of parameters though for very simple r inspection may work since i plus or minus j are the solutions of the polynomial of degree n a j equals 1 n i plus or minus a i plus or minus j equals 0 equals 0 backslash comma backslash then for i plus or minus j all different for each root i plus or minus j repeated k j times. For some i plus or minus j complex, 
then setting i plus or minus equals ij plus 2 superscript 3j, and using Euler's formula, allows some terms in the previous results to be written in the form where ij is an arbitrary constant. <laughs>